Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Rosette. If this is the first time you're seeing me, welcome. Today, I am gonna be shopping for back to school. I know, I can't believe it's already around the corner. I'm a senior. I didn't realize I'm going back to school in less than two weeks and I genuinely was so shocked when I got the email. For me, I just have completely forgot about school and I just have not prepared in any way. So I'm gonna take you along and basically show you exactly what I'm getting for back to school. I kind of already have a lot of stuff. My school actually made me pack everything up and put it into storage, which is gonna be crazy, like a whole apartment I have to put back together. But I still need to get some stuff back to school. And I wanna get into that mindset of preparing because the minute I start to accumulate things for back to school and make lists, it just makes everything so much easier and it gets me in that headspace I'm going back. I'm definitely gonna bring you around doing my errands today and I'm sorry if there's a lot of noise we're in a parking garage right now and it's a bit noisy the first stop is Marshall's and then I have other back to school things I need to get for my apartment and also food and stuff like that I'm also thinking I might do a bit of like self-care and beauty stuff I am layered up it's very chilly so I've just got my little puffer on today and yeah, my sister is gonna come along with me I know I look a little bit ridiculous but I'm trying to keep warm I'm not trying to get sick you know bundle up and if you don't already you should definitely subscribe click that red button put on my notifications so you guys know what I'm posting but yes we will definitely get some cute stuff and I actually just want to show you my hair I did it yesterday and I'm very proud of myself did three cornrows on each side and then I have this little ponytail which I've done a YouTube video on if you want to see how to do that I'm gonna get all bundled up and we're gonna head out there I've got my sunglasses and then I've got my little face mask This is where I usually get my face wash. I love this brand and they have this 2% salicylic acid and they also have an astringent you can use and they have a lot of facial oils. So if you're looking for skincare products, they are definitely more affordable here. And this is also where you can pick up your hand sanitizer. I would definitely suggest picking up one before you go back to school. And so for storage bins, they have a lot of options. I'm gonna go with this one. It's just white and you can put your toiletries in it and it's plastic. And if anything gets gross, you just rinse it out. And that's where I'm gonna keep my toiletries in my bathroom. There's a lot of gray I'm noticing. I guess gray is really big right now. So instead of buying the individual towels, you can just buy them in a bulk and they're like $20. It's a really nice material and I really like this color. It's two bath towels, two hand towels, and two washcloths. They have a lot of big shampoo and conditioner bottles, which I think is great instead of buying a little one and then having to buy it over and over again. You can just get a big bottle, which usually lasts me the whole semester, but these also are a really good brand. It's good for kinky curly hair. And I just read over the ingredients. I don't see any preservatives. There's a preservative called DMDM hydrogenate. I feel like it irritates my scalp. And just make sure you read over what's in your shampoo and conditioner bottles. There can be chemicals that are just really not supposed to be on your scalp. We're looking for something that has more of an essential oil scent. This brand has really nice packaging and it's a vegan soy wax blend. If you guys are looking to make your room a little bit nicer with plants, they have these fake ones at TJ Maxx and this is actually where I got mine for my room. TJ Maxx is a great place to get food storage. This is where I got mine at the beginning of the year and they have glass ones and they also have ones that are plastic so they're easy to wash and reusable. This one here is $3.99 and it actually has two that it comes with and you can microwave them. Here I just need to get a calendar and I'm thinking something that's medium size, not too small and has a lot of space for me to write. This one's really pretty. It's got a pink inside and it has the tabs for the month. Kind of breaks out each week and it has a to-do section, which I love. I think that's really different. They have a bunch of planners and bucket list stuff. They're definitely better than the selection at TJ Maxx. And I like to get my notebooks here. This one has five different sections, so I can put all of my school stuff in one notebook, which would be great. The last thing I'm gonna get from CVS are just a few pens, a set of those, and I really like the way they write. Definitely get a few pencils. And even though I take most of my notes on my computer, I end up taking a few of my notebook. We 
just got back home and I just got this new mask. Let me go get it. Someone just gave this to us. I've been wanting to try this mask for a long time. I feel like you can use it on anything. I've seen people use it on their curly hair, on their face, their back. I've been breaking out a lot, which is why I'm only drinking tea and water. It's the Indian Healing Clay Aztec Secret. I've heard it's very strong. And that is probably how I'll wind down the day and just like get more calm. Once I start school, this time to myself is gone. It's just gonna be all about studying and studying and more studying. So I kind of just wanna spend some time on myself. I won't be putting this in my hair just because I don't want to get it stuck in there, but I will be using this on my face and I'm excited to try it. Just changed out of my outfit I was wearing before and I put this little crop top which I did a haul on. All in all, today was very successful and I just got to order a few things from Amazon that I didn't find. I look a little bit crazy because it's still very patchy. While my face mask dries, I just wanna say, I really like how my nails came out. I didn't wanna do acrylic, so I just went with the gel. And I kind of like my nails short just because it's so much easier for me. I went for this multicolored look with the different blues. So I have this like navy blue and then the lighter shades. Each one is a little bit different. I'm kind of more of like a gray blue. I was gonna get this in this shade or get this in like a red and pink shade. And I ended up getting a file just straight across like more of a square shape. I had the person doing my nails pick everything up for me. She was so nice and she matched everything really well, which was awesome because I was a bit overwhelmed. If you guys can see there was a lot of different options. I just think the one thing I will say, I feel like these three shades are a little too similar because like on camera, even right now, it looks the same, but they are just slightly, I don't know if you can like tell. They are just like slightly different. Ooh, this face mask is definitely getting hard. Okay, it's done. I'm gonna wash my face mask off and I'm gonna finish up this video with some tips for you guys. I just wanted to finish this video up with a few tips about how to just start the semester off on a good foot, how to be as productive as possible so that you can start and just like get into the flow of things and be in the right headspace. I actually wrote down a list of things and I'm just gonna go through them and this is what really helps me. So the first thing on my list is to make sure you write a list. When you start to think of things you need for back to school, just write it down, make a list. I do this on my notes section and I like to use the little bubbles the bulletin points, what I'll do is I'll write it out and I'll break them into different sections. Right now, I have a section with just items for back to school that have to do with clothes. I also break it down into sections that have to do with hair, if I need to buy my braiding hair. I have another section for things like makeup. I just like to have everything organized and to write it down so that I know exactly what to get. And that has just been so helpful. I've been doing that for the last few years. And for the apartment, a lot of the things I need are household items. And I'll put that on a list on my phone so that I can get it at Costco or the bigger stores that sell in bulk. I also write things like the dentist's office, a doctor's appointment, just things I know I'm gonna need to do while I'm home, but I need to schedule those things before I go to school. The second thing I like to do is to start getting more sleep. And if you're like me, the vacation starts and you start to go to bed a little bit later every single day until you're up at like two, three, 4 a.m. To stop that habit, what I do is I set an alarm clock on my phone and every day I set it 20 to 30 minutes earlier. So instead of getting up at 11 a.m., I'm starting to get up at 10.30, 10, 9, and that's a slow increment. I don't like when I start school in the morning of, I feel so groggy and gross because I have been sleeping properly. My other tip is to start setting a night routine. So what I'll do is at night, I'll just make my tea. I'll get into bed, I'll read a book, I'll turn off my phone earlier, and that just kind of helps me not be distracted. My third tip is gonna be to use a calendar planner online, and I think these are great. I only discovered these about two years ago, but what I'll do is, once I get my schedules for back to class, and I'll insert one a few semesters ago, what I like to do is I like to add all my classes, once I know what they are, before school starts, and it asks you when they start, how often they happen, what time of the week they're at, and so you can add them into the calendar, and what's great about this is that it just makes it so much easier for you to see and to understand what your day looks like and what your week looks like. There's different colors for each subject you're taking. I also like to add on here any type of jobs I have or you know things that happen weekly that aren't just classes. And this is a great tool to get you started for the school year. Um, it's free and if you have a computer, you can do it on your computer and you might be able to do it on your phone. After I'm finished, I'll screenshot it and I will save one to my desktop computer screensaver the first few weeks. And the second one I will put on my cell phone and I'll have 
have it saved in my images so that instead of scrambling before classes start and thinking to myself where's my class what time is it and having to log into my student portal and do all of that work about like figuring out where I need to be I just have it all in a nice beautiful format and you can also put your zoom IDs in it if you have a reoccurring class and it just saves you so much time and my last two tips on school are just to make sure once you get your syllabi that you write in your calendar all of your assignments that makes it so much easier to find regardless if you have classes online or in person it's hard when I don't know about your school but my school a lot of the information is spread so some of it's online about what to do and some of it's you know in the syllabi but just have it in your calendar I take an hour to write down all of my assignments that are due throughout the whole entire semester the next thing I want to talk about are books and getting your books for classes I will go on Amazon or check those are my two favorite places to get books I'll use a wish list on Amazon and I'll save all the books I need that I can find there if I can't find them there I usually go to Chegg and I will rent them out I don't believe that it's necessary in college to buy your books new unless you're going to reference that book in the future and you see yourself using it again and again it just doesn't make sense to be hoarding books in your house and to be paying full price for them it also really loses its value the minute you own it. it's kind of like a car I've had friends buy one book for 250 300 dollars they try to resell it back to the school and they maybe get 50 dollars 70 use sources like Chegg and what I'll do is I will have my books in order but I won't actually purchase it until I start school unless the professor said I would expect you to do a certain assignment with this book before classes start or they've really requested it a lot of times when I will purchase books I just don't use I'll actually wait until I get to school and order them from my wish list once I know that I'm actually gonna be using them this can be a bit tricky with timing we never want to order something and you have an assignment that's due with that book but I really do find that if I wait till like the first day of classes when the professor goes over the syllabus and with Chegg what I love about it is they have ebooks so you are set I can just get out my computer and then once I'm done with the class I can cancel that order my last little thing is that if you do take a class and you don't love it and you end up dropping it make sure to check rate my professor before you sign up for another class and that's been super helpful in deciding what class I take especially when you're in that time crunch to make sure you have an extra class it can be a little bit stressful I just check rate my professor I did not know it was a thing until like my sophomore year of college. It has been very helpful. I look at that before I switch to a new class. I hope you found this helpful and if you did, definitely like and subscribe. You guys are going back to school, whether it's in person or online. I wish you the best of luck and I hope you guys have a great start. If you want to follow me, all my social medias are linked below in the description box. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. You got the summertime love. I work for your heart all night to the dawn. You stay with they switch stars. You're the one, yeah. they go and they come You like the summer breeze Do the trees, you like a getaway It's you and me, you like the summertime love You like the summertime love I pull up to your spot in the evening Got a life and a pop for the weekend Girl, I said you're the one and I made